uh, as far as um, fundamentals, you talk about fundamentals and, uh, you know, you have wrestled people from all around the world. You, even as a young man, you went to yes. different countries and, you know, you've wrestled in New Japan and you've wrestled people from Mexico. And when I teach music, I like to say that des despite what style you play, the fundamentals remain the same. So I guess my question for you is, regardless of where they came from, what style they came up, are the fundamentals of wrestling basically the same universally? They used to be. They used to be until the 90s. And then there wasn't the places to work and wrestling schools took over. There wasn't, if you got into a wrestling school before that and still certain wrestling, then if you call it, it was more a dojo kind of a system. Now, if you get into, you've got, you're going to get put through the ringer. If you, um, it, before that, it didn't matter where you went, you, you, there was, you know, you, you had to understand not, not only fundamentals, but you had to understand human, the way a human body moves and you had to understand wrestling. And I'm not saying everybody, but if you wanted to, if you were a normal person that, that wasn't, uh, an attraction or, you know, wasn't the greatest talker or if you were a journey, like as, which is what I am, I, I'm a journeyman wrestler, which is just somebody who, who's made a living out of wrestling. I've, I've done all those things. I've entertained and I've talked and that it's just fortunately something I could do, but my actual what I, what I am was a journeyman wrestler and probably what, if I hadn't come to America, I would have stayed a journeyman wrestler, which means I would have just had a job as a wrestler going from place to place, having a certain style of wrestling match with anybody from all over the world, not a certain style, but I, I could wrestle anybody from any, anywhere. I mean, there was a year, 1996, I was doing that. I, I was in WCW, but I was going. I, you know, I, I went to, I, I was wrestling people in WCW that were, they were bringing in that would, nobody else could wrestle because I didn't need to talk to them. A lot of the luchadors, I could wrestle the Japanese guys without talking to them. I, I, I was going to Japan. I, I could go back to England. I'd go to Germany. It didn't matter. I still didn't have to talk to anybody or lay anything out or do anything. But that was, that's not anything on me. That's on the people that taught me all well, those days sort of went away, um, at the, with the advent of wrestling schools. And so a lot of people, and that it's it, it, absolutely, that's it's why it's, it's a weird subject because it's, it's just different now. It's not right. me saying it's, it's any, it's any better or any, no, it's, right. it's just, just you just got to evolve with it. And, uh, you know, you do get a lot of older wrestlers who go up these fellas, this and these, no, I, I love it. As long as there's hard working, but as long as people put everything, right. I love all, love and wrestling, right? It's, it's not a, I've, I've just changed with it and, and, and I've, I've accept, I accept that, but again, it, the people who are doing well are the ones who put hard work in. Yeah. That you'll, you'll find, uh, you'll find that most things, you know, that, that the hard work, uh, for me. Talent can be a, a deal breaker. Talent can be a demarcation line, but the hard work really is really the uh, thing that separates everybody, you know? And even if you don't make it, you put in the hard work, you still learn the lessons that you need to learn. 